Welcome to Mix Minus. This is same as before. This concept mixes friends and relatives and will require we move beads on both columns, the ones and the tens, and of course learn new formulas. These formulas help us to learn mix as well as tell our fingers what exactly they need to do. Just as we have with other concepts, we will say our formulas and then we will go to our abacus and learn the bead movements and say the formulas as we move the beads. Remember, mix minus is only used when we subtract 6, 7, 8, or 9. So that's nice. Let me repeat that. The only time you may need to use mix minus will be when you are trying to subtract 6, 7, 8, or 9, and we cannot use friends or relatives by themselves. Before we start, let's review our friends and relatives. For mix minus, we combine our plus 5 friends and our minus 10 relatives. First, our friends. Let's review our plus five friends formulas as they appear on the screen. Say them at the same time. Ready? Plus one equals plus five minus four down together at the same time. Plus two equals plus five minus three down together at the same time. Plus three equals plus five minus two down together at the same time. Plus four equals plus five minus one down together at the same time. We always say the formula the same way. Friends work together to change the value of your problem. Repetition is important. Practice them over and over. Just rewind. Now let's review our relatives formulas for minus six through minus nine. And remember, any time we ever use minus ten relatives, we have to subtract that ten bead first. So, repeat them after you see them flash on the screen. Say them with me. Minus 6 equals minus 10, then plus 4. Minus 7 equals minus 10, then plus 3. Minus 8 equals minus 10, then plus 2. Minus 9 equals minus 10, then plus 1. Now, we are ready to see how we combine these with our friends and create the new mix formulas. Say them as they appear on your screen. These are the mix formulas. Minus 6 equals minus 10, then 6 down. Minus 7 equals minus 10, then 7 down. Minus 8 equals minus 10, then 8 down. Minus 9 equals minus 10, then 9 down. Let's look at what we're really doing when we use these formulas. Our first example will be minus 6 mix. When we use the formula minus 10, then 6 down, we are really doing this. Minus 6 equals minus 10, then plus 5, minus 1. So we are subtracting the 10 to make sure we will be subtracting. Then by moving the beads we need down, we add back a 5 and subtract the 1 bead. After moving all of these beads, the totals end up subtracting a value of 6 from our abacus. This is how they are mixed together. We have to remember to complete both movements, but most important is starting with subtracting 10 from your tens column. If you do not do this first, you will end up with the wrong answer. When we use minus seven mix formula, we're doing this. Minus seven equals minus 10, then plus five, minus two. When we say minus 10, we are making sure our number will be subtracted. Then we add back the five and subtract two when we move both down, right? This means we have just subtracted seven from the problem. So once we complete the second half of the formula, we are done, and if you practice by saying it out loud, it will become ingrained in your mind. All of these formulas need to be repeated out loud constantly so you really get them down. Okay, let's move on to minus eight. When we use minus eight mix, we are doing this. Minus eight equals minus 10, then plus five, minus three. We subtract our 10 bead first, then add five, and subtract three as we say the word down, which means we're adding back two. Minus 10 plus two, make sure we are subtracting eight. Last one, minus nine equals minus 10, then plus five, minus four. We subtract our 10 bead first, then add five and subtract four as we say the word down, which means we're adding back a value of one. Minus 10 plus one, make sure we are subtracting nine. Now this is very complicated, but if you go back and review and listen to it over and over, 
you will pick it up fairly easy, at least just being intuitive and understanding how to move the beads, but the formulas are easy. Pause and practice. Now let's work on some longer problems. We will complete quite a few of these because it gives us a chance to better understand when we use relatives and when we use mix. Remember, you can always pause the screen and try to figure it out for yourself and then watch the movements, or you can just keep repeating and repeating and rewinding as needed. The equation appears on the upper left part of the screen. Try it once you feel comfortable. All right, our first problem. Five plus nine plus nine minus six. All right, plus five, finger down. Can we do plus nine regular relatives minus one and plus 10? No, so we have to do nine mix. Nine up, then plus 10. Now, plus nine. We could do regular relatives. We can do minus one, then plus 10. Minus six. Can we do push apart at the same time? No. Can we do regular relatives? Minus 10, then plus four? No. We need to do mix. So we say minus 10, then six down. What's our answer? 17. Clear. Next question. 4 plus 7 plus 2 minus 8. Plus 4, thumb up. Plus 7, we can do regular relatives, minus 3, then plus 10. Plus 2, thumb up. Minus 8, can we do minus 10, then plus 2? No, we have to do mix. So, minus 10, then 8 down. Our answer? 5. Good. Clear. 8 plus 6 plus 9 minus 7. Okay. Plus 8, pull together at the same time. Plus 6, can we do minus 4 then plus 10? No. So we have to do plus 6 mix, which is 6 up, then plus 10. All right. Plus 9, can we do regular relatives minus 1 then plus 10? Yes, we can. Minus 1, then plus 10. All right. Minus 7, can we do Minus 10, then plus 3? No, we have to do mix. So we do minus 10, then 7 down. Our answer? 16. Clear. Next question. 1 plus 7 plus 5 minus 6. Plus 1, thumb up. Plus 7, simple, pull together at the same time. Plus 5, we can actually do relatives. Minus 5, then plus 10. And minus 6, can we do... Minus 10, then plus 4? No, we have to do mix. So we do minus 10, then 6 down. Our answer? 7. Clear. Next one. 6 plus 3 plus 4 minus 10. Plus 6, pull together at the same time. Plus 3, thumb up. Plus 4, can we do minus 6, then plus 10? Yep, we can do regular relatives. Minus 6, then plus 10. Now, minus 8. Can we do minus 10, then plus 2? No, so we have to do minus 8 mix. Minus 10, then 8 down. Answer, 5. Clear. All right, two more. Ready? 3 plus 4 plus 7 minus 9. Plus 3, thumb up. Plus 4, we can use our friends, so plus 4 equals plus 5 minus 1, down together at the same time. Plus 7, can we do minus 3 then plus 10? No, so we have to do plus 7 mix. 7 up, then plus 10. Now, minus 9. Can we do minus 10, then plus 1? No, but we can do mix. Minus 10, then 9 down. Our answer, 5. Clear. 8 plus 6 minus 9 plus 7. Okay. Plus 8, pull together at the same time. Plus 6. Can we do minus 4, then plus 10? No, so we have to do 6 up, then plus 10. Now, minus 9. Can we do minus 10, then plus 1? No, we don't have the beads, so we do minus 9 mix. It's just minus 10, then 9 down. Now, plus 7. How do we add plus 7? Can we do simple? No. Can we do regular relatives? Minus 3, then plus 10? No, so we have to do plus 7 mix, which is 7 up, then plus 10. Our answer? 12. Clear. Go back and practice if you need to.